Hey guys, it's Jamie from Legend Gaming. This video, I want to show you the new weapons coming in the They Shall Not Pass DLC. Now, I'll be able to get gameplay for you guys later today when they launch the CTE servers, but for now, I just kind of get to show you um, the weapon statistics, um, where they are, what class they are, and how you unlock them. So, we're going to first look at the assault weapons. So, we have the Ruby Roll 1918 Factory. When I try to equip it, it says complete this weapon assignment to unlock the weapon. You'd see clearly at the bottom it says perform 50 kills to the Automatico M1918 and perform 20 headshots to the MP18 Optical. So the headshots is, are going to be quite annoying as you get in this game, especially with the submachine gun that isn't too good, but honestly, these assignments shouldn't take too long. And then the Jorgen Inertial Factory is perform 50 kills with the Model 10A Slug. And then in a round, perform in one round, perform 15 kills with the M97 Trench Gun Hunter. So, th those are basically the two assault weapons. Um, as you can see, this only has five rounds in the magazine. It's a semi-automatic shotgun. Um, it probably has pretty good damage um, because of its small magazine. And then this is a fully auto um, carbine that has 25 rounds in the magazine and does 550 rounds per minute rate of fire. So now we're gonna move over to the pistols, might as well right now. And, okay, they haven't added the pistol in yet. Okay, actually it might be class specific, so let's see. So we have the RSC 1917 Optical as one of them, and then the RSC 1917 Factory. And you have to complete different assignments for each of these. So this one's performed 50 kills of the M1907 Sweeper and performed 50 revives, which I really liked. And this one performed 15 kills of the Autoloading 8.35 Factory. Oh. That is a weapon. For some reason, I thought that was a shotgun. But these weapons only have five rounds in the magazine, and then that's perform 75 heals. I mean, six rounds in the magazine. That's pretty low. Honestly, this better be like something like a two-shot kill, because I really hate for them to add a non-viable weapon into the game. Because the Cell Slater 1907 factory is already not viable enough with the five rounds, so to add a six-round weapon in would be pretty annoying. Let's see. The pistol is not on this class either but let's move over to support check out the show show so the show show low weight is equipped with a bipod the basic lmg pattern will quickly regain accuracy due to lower weight pretty fast rate of fire for an lmg at 360 rounds per minute but this is going to be a heavy hitting weapon more like a battle rifle and the assignment is perform 50 kills of the lewis gun suppressive and perform 75 resupplies there's a telescopic it's in a round Perform 50 kills of the M1909 Binet Merci telescopic and perform 10 kills with the mortar. That one's gonna be pretty fun. Um, then here, I don't even want to say anything, but these these are the pistols. Doesn't seem to be anything new here. Let's see the new sniper rifle. So this is the Labello Model 18A6 sniper rifle. Equipped with a bipod and telescopic sight, this rifle offers improved accuracy over a long distance. So we can't see the damage model right now, like we can with uh, other snipers. But we do see the assignment in a round perform 5 headshots with the Russian 1895, and perform 10 periscope spot assists. That's going to be rather annoying. And then the last assignment is perform 50 kills with the Gewehr M95 Infantry. Oh, that one's even harder. And this one's for the... This is the more basic rifle, so it might have a uh, less zoomed in sight. It has performed 20 spot flare assists, and the rate of fire is 56, and it has 8 rounds in the magazine. Now, I cannot seem to find the pistol anywhere as of right now, but that's pretty much it. That's what we have is the new weapons in the game. I'll get you guys some gameplay later today, which I'm super hyped for of these new weapons, so don't forget to stay tuned to the channel and subscribe if you are new here. But that's what it was for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.